Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another Mech Merlin stream. Today, we are building a vendor-sponsored build, Mech the, the Mech Wild OBE, otherwise known as the Orange Boy Ergo. So welcome, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Let's see. Let's talk about the board a little bit here. I'm going to paste the link into chat so you guys can all see what's happening. Over there, you guys can follow along with the webpage. Yeah, the Orange Boy Ergo is an Ergo THT keyboard that is retailing for anywhere from $40 to $51. And the group buy is currently ongoing, but expiring tomorrow on the 8th. Um, fulfillment is expected to start in October. And this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. If you're looking for a very affordable Ergo 65% keyboard, this might be the one to check out. Yeah. Look at that. See, it's got macro keys on the left as well and a cat paw and an encoder knob. Pretty cool stuff right here. Orange bar ergo and of course the cat on the back. <laughs> See that? If it fits, it sits nice. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. But yeah, as I said earlier, this is only going until the 8th. And you have quite a few add-ons you can do as well. You can mil max it. You can buy extra diodes, RGB LED strips, all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get started with the unboxing first and then the build. So as many of you know, as many of you know, um, MechWild has attempted to assassinate me several times before by sending me things that I was allergic to. So the ongoing joke is that every time they send me something, it's, in, it's, it's another assassination attempt. <laughs> so here we go. This is the third time. This is the third board right here. <laughs> So this is for everyone to see, just to make sure they don't assassinate me. And it looks like they sent it to me in a KB Defense box, mainly because Quinn, one of the one of the proprietors of MechWild, is a KB Defense moderator. So yeah, lots of little things here. Let's see the keyboard in there. So yeah, let's go. Let's let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. All right, let's go. Let's start with the lighter one first. The, the lighter one is mighty sus. Looks like there's nothing in it. N nothing's shaking. It could just be like a filler or something. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Dang it, Quinn. <laughs> Distraction box. Gotcha. <laughs> I knew it. I figured that it would be some kind of a uh, filler box of sorts. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I think this is a good as a time as any to actually turn on some music. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh my gosh. All right. Filler box right there. Okay, now this one's actually got some substance in it. Let's check it out. Yep. Feel safe. I bet it's like the hardware for the for the OBE. Yep, yes it is. There's the hardware diodes, encoder knob. Oh wait, this is this is another board actually. We will um we will hold on to that. We will hold on to that. <laughs> but here we go, here we go. Let's do this guy right here. All that good stuff right here. All the included hardware. There we go. This is a live unboxing. What keycaps are those on the on the blue keyboard on this guy right here? Um, this is the JTK Photo Studio that was on Z Frontier a couple years back. Kind of looks like Hyperfuse, doesn't it? Here we go. Orange Bot Boy Ergo. And yeah, I talked with Silly, 
and I asked him if he would be so kind to start soldering in a majority of the components and he's done it with all of the diodes as you can see. You know, I'm pretty sure he got it all right, but I just wanted, to, but you know, just to make sure, just to make sure, diodes are something that only go in one way. Well, you can solder it in the wrong way, so just gotta make sure everything's in place. Because if not, that's probably where I will have to start today, but so far so good. Yep, everything looks good. JJ says, what's your desk mat? This is the Cherry MX spec desk mat that I picked up from Key Clock back in like 2015. There we go, there's the plate. Right there, and then... The bottom. I think this is like my favorite part of the board right now. Just because it's got a cat on it. <laughs> It's so cute. It's so cute. Here, let's see. Just to make sure, just want to make sure that there is a... Is there a instruction manual that he has included? No, he has not. Okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Let's see, this is, what? This uses a black pill dev board. So something that I've never actually tried before. So this will be the first stream I've ever done using a black pill. It's gonna be pretty, pretty cool. I did not know what one looked like until today, but this is it apparently. Here, let me show it to you guys. Basically a glorified Pro Micro of sorts. You can see it uses a USB-C. Um, there's a reset button right there. Don't really know what else to say about it. Other than... Uh, yeah, there's, there's not too much. Here, you know, why don't I just check out their actual dev board here. Black pill. Black pill dev board. Okay. Some quick specs on it. It's from Adafruit, I believe. Features an STM32 F411 microcontroller. So this is an ARM-based board. What, anything else on it? Um... Okay, so just your generic thing. One, one, one interesting thing about this is I don't think it has a EE prom, which is why an E and an EE prom is part of the build. <laughs> but anyway, put this all in. Yeah, I'm not seeing any kind of build guide attached here. So hopefully, hopefully this is relatively straightforward. I hope so. The U1, U2, anything else I need to throw in? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. A couple sockets right there, which we'll need, need for later. Rurugi says hello, hello to you too. And these look to be, I think these are the legs. These might be the legs for the, for the socketing. There we go, that's the encoder knob right there. So I have a bunch of fancy diodes here but I can't seem to see where they would go on this board. Hmm. 
Where would they go on this board? I'm not seeing any markings for the diode. I see I see markings for extra resistors. Oh wait, sorry. These are resistors. So there we go. It would go here. Um Yeah, I guess it would just be one, two, three, four. That's where the resistors would go. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Then LEDs would go in over there. Okay, we can do this. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll start off putting the resistors in. That would be a good place to start. Good thing about resistors is you don't need to worry which way you put them in. So it's all the same. It's all the same. Will I upload this to YouTube later? I try my best to upload all of my builds on YouTube. Might be useful for when I'm going to build this board when I get it. Yeah. yeah. Well, technically, they've usually included some kind of a build guide, but I'm not seeing a link to that anywhere here. So maybe learn. Here we go. Learn build guides. Murph Pad, Big Dill, and Mercutio are the only build guides in existence. Okay, shoots. All right. That's fine. That's fine. I believe I can figure this out. I believe. Go. Unless I haven't been drinking at all. Mmm, delicious. All right. Let's see how this goes. Okay, are these as easy? As mech wilds, wild sus they are, they are in fact very easy, actually. <laughs> Here, we we'll probably even just put them on first. Chalice looks cool, not my cup of tea. You prefer cups over chalices? <laughs> it's so tiny. <laughs> Yay. Glad you guys got my little pun. Super tiny stuff. Still better than having to do my diodes. Oh, that's good. Oh, 
far. <laughs> yeah, okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna put them in the sockets first. This way, I can actually position, should be able to position the microcontroller much easier this way. At least that's, that's what I think should happen. So, a uh, quick question, Mechwald. Are you literally using every single pin here, or are some pins unused? You've never seen someone build and mount this? <laughs> well, as far as I know, I might be the only streamer who's doing an OBE build. Yeah, this is extremely beginner friendly. Nothing is hard yet. It's 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 not difficult. It's just time consuming. And keep in mind, um, Silly actually already pre-soldered all the diodes for me. Yeah, it's just a time consuming build. Yeah, just just take it slow. Just take it slow. Like it's it's not a race. For me, it's a race because I have other stuff planned tonight. But you know. Just don't stream your build, I guess. <laughs> don't stream your build like me and you'll be fine. All right. Got that in. Perfect. It's also very hard to, to talk to strangers on the internet while soldering. <laughs> yeah, of course. All right. Let's plug it in. And we'll flash the board. Here. there we go yep QMK toolbox is detecting it just fine there we go okay I will run Zark's command while I'm waiting on while I'm waiting on the firmware Uh, there we go. Oh wait, Silly so says one sec. Okay, let's try flashing again, just in case. There you go, perfect. Okay, thank you very much. Downloading. Perfect. There we go, found it. And... Flash. Attempting to flash, please don't remove device. And the flash is done. Perfect. Yep, keyboard setup assistant has detected the keyboard. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's open up VIA. Let's make sure this actually gets tested properly. And... We go. It's detecting my ploopy mouse. Mechwald OBE! There we go! On VIA. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm just gonna do the key tester mode and make sure everything here works out just fine. See, is that the layout I did? Yep, that is indeed the layout I did. Oh great, I forgot to solder one switch. That's why. Not a problem. Yep. 
you got the cat paw right there. Then the, the cat butt is on the back, or I guess that's on the bottom of the keyboard. Just typing on it really quick right now. I'm not sure I like how tall this board sits. Might be a bit too high. Semi Dodge says, You forgot the status indicators. Yeah. Oh well. I don't really use status indicators anyway. I'll put those in another time. There we go. Yeah, that's, that feels a little too high for me. Yeah, here we go. That's the cat on the back. Yeah, ah, uh, shoot. Um, that means... I feel like I'm gonna have to choose a flat profile for this. Maybe XDA or DSA. Let's see if I've got any of those left. Just that, I feel like if I put anything taller than that, that might be problematic in terms of typing. Mm, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm trying to think about something. Go SA, yeah, SA would actually be painful. SA would actually be painful, so let, let's see if I have anything, really. Anything that's somewhat low. Ah! Oh, you know what, I could put... Hyperfuse on it. <laughs> Hyperfuse would work really well. Since I just got Hyperfuse, but hold on. There we go. Hyperfuse. GMK Hyperfuse. One of my favorite sets, actually. Add bumps on. Yeah, it, it's not that it's... um. Here, let's just go add the bump-ons. The, the thing is, it's too high. I can feel that it's too high already. On... On M1s, only works in Rosetta mode. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm actually going to be getting an M1 pretty soon. Like, like, my, like we, we actually already have one, but it's my wife's laptop. I can't just use it anytime I please. But it has definitely been the fastest video edit, editing computer I've ever owned. There we go. Oh, interesting. They have plastic upon plastic. Cool. I guess they realized that if they didn't do that, they would just have keycaps all over the place. Which is a good thing, actually. This is, a, this is very good on them. Saran wrap or shrink wrap, I guess. Ah, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite sets. Okay, let's do this. Let's put a escape key there. Oh, yeah, that's really high. It's really high for me. <laughs> This is going to be very interesting. This will be very interesting indeed.
And let's see, will I regret omitting stabs on this? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, it works. Awesome. Okay. Yes. Yeah, let's put hyper there. Kind of not the right size, but it works. Do you think height could be reduced? Is there space between the plates? Yes, there is. There's definitely space. So if you use smaller standoffs, th that would be great. I'd be in favor of doing that, actually. Seems a little too high for my tastes. Here, let's just do double code here or something. Mm, actually, no, I'll do a page up and a page down. That seems to make the most sense there. Page up and page down. There we go. Page up and page down. I think rather than the gold knob, we should try the black knob. Let's just go in. If it's normal compliance, three millimeters should be about the minimum. Yeah, it seems to be the, the minimum ones. There we go. That's it, guys. Here, let's do a typing test. I bet I'm gonna be like super slow on this. Let's try it out, let's try it out. That's a space bar right there. They're both space bars. Okay, that's good. Oh. Okay, I might actually be able to type on this. Here, let's try. Let me turn off the music. Let's turn off crisp. So you guys can actually hear it. Let's give it a shot. It's not a very good sounding board, I'll say that. It's not a very good sounding board, but it's tolerable. It's tolerable. <laughs> I feel like I could put some foam underneath just to make it sound better, but the way it is right now, I'm gonna say hard no on the sound. I might, I, I may try doing like the tape mod on it. I bet the tape mod would, would actually make it sound so much better. Is it office safe? Well, yeah, it's, it's 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 not a clicky board. But here, and and I could actually type on that. I was averaging 116 words per minute with an accuracy of 82%. That's not bad at all. Let me try this again. I'll try and go for accuracy.
There you go, that's better. 91% accuracy, 133 words per minute. It's kind of the, it's, I kind of like that sound. I don't think it's good, but I kind of like it. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's a, it's a unique sound. It's a unique sound for sure. I think what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to tape mod this later on. And at the same time, put the two missing LEDs in. But this is probably the first ergo board that I'm actually able to type on. Like I've tried other ergo boards and I keep like, like my accuracy, my, my accuracy is usually 50, 60%. No stabs changes the sound. No, it's, it's, it's not the non-stab. It's the nature of the board. A board like this isn't really going to sound like like, okay, if you guys want example of a good sounding board, this guy, the Day Off 60, this guy sounds amazing. Here. See? See, this, this guy sounds so good. I would not cl classify this as a good sounding board. You'd like to hear how it sounds with a tape mod? Also like the sound PE mod and tape mod. Okay, so with PE mod, I'm kind of kind of hesitant to recommend that to like anyone just because a lot of PE out there is not, is not static free. So if you use it on a board, especially a board without ESD protection, you may be giving your board a death sentence. Vic Freak says, but that one is like half my paycheck. Well, yeah, there we go. You know, it's not it's not a board for um, everyone. If you guys caught my build stream on it, I did mention that for a board that was a $410, $420, even if it was built here in the USA, um, it doesn't look like a $420 board, right? So yeah, I think I will tape mod this guy. Definitely tape mod this guy, but I am very thankful to Mechwald for sending this to me. Um, this is actually, yeah, this is the first ergo board that I'm actually able to type on. Like, I didn't really have to change too much of how I was typing. Like, I did drop accuracy, but 91% accuracy is not bad at all. So, yeah. Sorry, comrade says, is it weird that I mostly prefer open cell boards like this or my Sesame? No, that's not weird at all. That's um, simply your preference. You know? Like, people like different things. Just because someone likes something different from you doesn't mean you're weird. You could both be weird. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this is, uh, this turned out better than I thought it would, to be honest. I was actually expecting that after I built it, I would I would be averaging about 70, maybe 60 words per minute, accuracy of about 40%. But no, my latest typing test, 133 words per minute, accuracy of 91%. So pretty awesome, pretty awesome. I am looking forward to what P3D Store has in store for this. Um, P3D Store, me and two others are the only people who currently have a finished board. So, looking forward to what P3D store has. So, yeah, guys. Um, the group buy for this is ending tomorrow. Here, let me post the link in chat again. Here we go. All the way on MechWild. Group buy ending tomorrow. $51 board. Overall impression so far is that it's great. I quite like how it feels. I don't like how it sounds. I really don't like how it sounds, which is why I will be tape modding it. But, you know, um, it, it does feel a bit weird on the wrist because I have to like, it's higher than I'm used to. So if you like higher profile keycaps, good luck, I guess. Good luck, I guess. But for me, I think Cherry is the highest I would go on this. So, yeah. But for $51, this is a steal, guys. A steal for $51. So don't miss out. Check it out. <laughs> Alright, we'll finish with one more typing test and then we'll call it quits.
I'll do a shorter one this time. There we go. 50 words this time. There we go, 149, 90% accuracy. Wonder how much shipping to Australia is? Expensive. <laughs> all right guys, thanks for joining in. Uh, my next stream is tomorrow evening, discussing all of the weekly group by news, if that's the kind of information you like to watch. Um, join me at 7.30 p.m. PDT tomorrow evening. All right guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you when I catch you. Goodbye everyone.